very nice to see you and uh, I want to ask you a few questions. So, uh, how do you feel about not having a temple where you can worship God of Israel? Horrible, terrible thing. It's terrible. terrible. Uh, do you think that temple will be rebuilt during your lifetime? Absolutely. Yeah, that's Hope so. Amen. What are that's you what we doing? Say every day, the what are you doing for it personally? Praying, praying, praying hard. Praying. How many Yuchuva? times a day? Three times, Three times a day. day. Are you also praying for coming of the Messiah? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, three, times times three times a day. Do you totally think Zemza. he's going to come during your lifetime? Absolutely. 100%. Amen. 100%. 100%. Yes. Amen. God bless you. Here behind me here is the menorah that the Temple Institute has actually had reconstructed that is the exact replica of what is believed to be the, the very menorah that the Vatican has stolen and hold in their catacombs. This menorah is fully functional and coated in gold, pure gold. And it is ready for the temple service when the third temple is actually constructed. Another thing that brings to mind that I wanted to share with you, and that is we have friends that are good friends of Avi Libkin. And Avi Libkin is becoming very much an activist here and giving a voice to the minorities here in Israel. Something that we're hoping to work with him on, and we're working on scheduling a meeting with him about becoming more proactive to give the believers here a voice, those that do not have a voice right now, and also to make possible for the lost house of Israel to be able to return home as well, regardless of what their belief is, as long as they are supporters of Israel without any condition, but stand with Israel unconditionally. We want to help actively bring your voice to the forefront as well, because many Many uh, people that are out there, though they may have been, even as my own father's background, the Danun family that was converted during the Inquisition, but yet many of the Danuns have remained Jewish down through the ages nonetheless. But there's many under the Inquisition and others as well from the dispersion back in 723 BCE that have never been able to come home. And many of you are finding out that you are Jewish you're part of the house of Israel. God promised that he would bring all 12 tribes home. And we want to be a part of making a voice here in Israel for you. And we ask that you help us make that possible. God bless you.